ahead and put that together tomorrow and get down on the cart. I have them here in Middle Tennessee. The Geographical Center of Something. Shop Dog Center. You, you you know you, you you might you might think that you might think it didn't work, but it did. Uh, uh, it was what 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 this uh, two. When you slide off, you you have this right here It'll be right there. But the way this setup is right here, you 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 have to have your piece coming down this way. In order to solve that like that, and then you would clamp it down with those other two vice grips right there. Works perfectly. I'm just saying, I took forward a couple of uh, scrap pieces of metal to constitute a uh, stop so you don't saw your piece of metal off right there. I'm just saying, note that in the blank page over there. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, quoting A-V-E, that right there would be a little bitty sucker right there. But, uh, carrying on here in Orland Manor, uh, I done already seen that uh, uh, Mr. Pete 222 there, a uh, YouTube shop teacher, you know, does a very good job right there. I said in every episode, Mr. Pete. But uh was not was uh a little meal drill time today. Well total drill about three yard holes, you know, sorted sizes. Well, you know, just to uh well, got a little dust on it. Oh yeah, I seen, I seen, I seen Mr. Pete. I, I done already seen. I done already seen it, Mr. Pete, that you sent them engines up there to de Rusta. <clears throat> hey, de Rusta, I done already seen that, Mr. Pete, uh, sent them engines up there, man. That's, uh, that, that's pretty cool. So, Well, you know, now that I already got them holes drilled in all of them pieces of metal, I'll put that there countersink, that d -bur bit in this thing right here, and I'm going to hit that many holes with that little d -bur tool right there. You know, I ain't done it yet. Well, you, you you know you 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 might you might think that you might think it didn't work, but it did. Uh, uh, it was what 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 this uh, two. When you slide off, you you have this right here It'll be right there. 
But the way this setup is right here, you, you, you have to have your piece coming down this way in order to saw that like that. And then you would clamp it down with those other two vice grips right there. Works perfectly. I'm just saying, I had to forward a couple of scrap pieces of metal constitute a stop so you don't saw your piece of metal off right there. I'm just saying. Note that in the blank page over there. Well, you, 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 you know I have one of them things right there. I, I'll never use I'll never use this tool right here, but I got one of them, and I think it's a good one. But. Well, the box don't have any hinges on it. It's got a it's got a copper strap right there. But oh yeah, that's a big one right there. <clears throat> okay, this right here that's a big one right there. That's all I'm going to say about that. That's pretty good sized. Looking at it from the end, man, that's a nice one. Okay, it says right on the back of it here, on, on the back side right there, <clears throat> it's a Dumont. And uh, it's three and a quarter by six. It's six inches long and it fits in a three and a quarter inch bore to use this. I'll show it to you. It's a nice one. There it is. I'm not sure it's ever been used. It shows it shows no indication of that. Seven eighths high speed steel. And then also over here, <clears throat> it, it's got these things right here in there. And right there, that's them shims. Seven eighths by one, seven eighths by one, and, and there and, and you put them down in there when you push that thing through there. But I'm just saying, you know, I'm not I'm not never going to use that tool. But I think it's a good one. It's a Dumont. Well. You know, the first thing, first thing, I'll show you that right there to you. <clears throat> uh, first thing that come to, come, come to mind as I walk up through there, uh, this is what we're building. And I drawed this up back 721, back in 07 I drawed these plans up. Uh, nothing's changed, you know what I mean? It's an 8 inch wheel by 2 inches that way. 16 inches between the axle. So, and, 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 and one of the parts you line up there to get you to get your measurement to, to, um, well, when, when you're putting this thing together, is if you measure, if you lay you some lines out on your workbench or where you're going to be welding this up, and then you measure from your one inch square tubing. You know, after you plug weld them up and ground them down real nice, then you'd proceed on with this here. And, but you measure from the top of that up to the bottom of your, about a quarter inch taller than your wheel height is. So when you turn it, it'll be really close, but not scrub it, not impede the turning of the, of the wagon. So, 
and then and then uh, 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 this was the later version, uh, which used a six-inch wheel. Yeah, we'll 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 work on this later. Uh, just a short production run right there. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, I guess you could say it was a hole drilling day today. That knocked him out right there. About 300 holes I done drilled today. Okay, I'll just tell I'll just tell this to you, and, and see see if I can get some advice uh, here on the uh, on the internet on uh, different whoever sees this video uh, can tell me what I need to do in this situation. These are old forty one heads. That's a casting number. Uh, they are not, they, these heads are not drilled on the end. That's the end of that head right there. It's not drilled for any uh, accessories, as is not, the, the other one ain't drilled neither. So, and they are matching, and it confuses me as to that, you know, like forward facing angle down there at the bottom. You know, is that is that actually what that is? I'm not sure. It wasn't thick enough to be machined off. I'm going to turn them upside down. We see what that other side looks like. The question is, should I get these heads rebuilt and use them on this engine? Okay. Uh, when I got when I got to turning these heads upside down and cleaning off the end so I could tell what it was I had, I noticed that there's a punch mark, a C inside of a circle, and then also the other one it has the same thing over there. it. It's kind of it's kind kind of faint on one side, but you you can tell it's a matching stamp, matching set of heads. Does that mean that these are Corvette heads? They're 041s. You know, they have that chain at, uh, up around your spark plug. You know, that's really thick in there. It has the spark plugs in it that... They're taper seat plugs. The question is, what kind of I got... What kind of heads do I have? And where can I get them heads rebuilt with... Uh, you, you know, they're going to need valve seats... They're going to need valve guides, and they're going to need valves, and I'm going to need springs and keepers. You, you, you know what I mean? Uh, build, build up to a operating set of heads here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. You know, who, who's going to get that job done? Leave a comment.